and blue and check your labels. Make sure your labels are on there real good, everybody. Red bag, blue bag. Red over here, man. Red bag, red bag, red bag. There you go. An interesting part of Ironman Louisville is our location. I'm not sure what it's like at other events, but Ironman Louisville at this point, we have a ratio of approximately 1.4 volunteers to every competitor. The number one reason why people say they want to help is they, they think it's one of the most inspirational things that they do all year and they keep coming back over and over and over again. I've actually done this course and I volunteered and we are awesome. And um, let's go. I have approximately 80 captains. They are the ones who are the direct connection with the volunteers, who help the volunteers know what to do, how to do it, where to go. This race couldn't happen without captains. Since our swim start is three quarters of a mile away, we have a whole slew of people at the swim start. Body marking! Yeah, once the gun goes off, it's just a big machine and it keeps going and it'll be an awesome day. Since we don't have a mass start, we, we are placing volunteers, uh, whether they're iron team volunteers or security volunteers, they're going to be all up and down that line, helping that line move and making sure families out of the way and things like that. The line stretches hundreds of yards. Literally, the volunteers are all throughout that line helping it move. There are many volunteers in the water, well over a hundred, from lifeguards on paddle boards to approximately 80 kayakers, maybe even more. We do have volunteers who are halfway in the water. They're on the stairs to pull the people out. They, they call it a catch and release volunteer position. In transition, we have volunteers that help you get your gear bag, go into the changing tent, help you in the changing tent. You get at the position. Sunscreen when you come out of the changing tent, and then once you get your bike and your helmet on and everything, out of transition and on to the road. On the bike course, at any given time, there are up to 700 volunteers. It's a force of people for sure. This way to be an Iron Man, let's go! The aid stations provide the athletes, obviously, hydration and nutrition, but one of the things is that intangible that the aid stations provide is the encouragement and the keep going, keep going. The unsung heroes are the bike techs that are on those mopeds cruising around and helping people reach a dream. Then the athletes come in off of that bike course, back into transition. The first people they'll see are the bike catchers. Sometimes that's a literal thing to actually catch the bike as it's thrown at them. One of the toughest jobs is inside the changing tent because not only do you have to serve selflessly, but you also maybe have to do a little psychological work as well as medical evaluation. You, it's so many different things involved with one shift of volunteering. On the run course at the various aid stations, we will have approximately seven to eight hundred 
volunteers manning the aid stations. A couple of our aid stations are manned by pretty much nothing but high schoolers. We have one middle school aid station and they do an incredible job. We also have one aid station that is nothing but senior citizens, retirees, and every single year that aid station wins the cleanest aid station award. So can we ask you a question? Sure. So we hear that every year this aid station wins the award for the cleanest aid station. Is that true? That's true. What? Tell us why. Well, before we leave, it's a half a mile down to the end. There's about six or eight of us goes down on one side, comes back up on the other side, and goes a mile in this direction. And when we get through, there's nothing left. That's how it works. What mate, what do y'all do differently than the other ones? Why are y'all so much cleaner? Well, I don't know. See, this is a church group, and we come out here every year and work in this. And I don't know, maybe we just work at it a little harder, I don't know. But that's kind of, that's how it works. But we do it every year and, and, and we take a little pride, I suppose. In, in, in. Thank you. Good Thank job. you for volunteering. Oh, no problem, doing a great job. What keeps volunteers going? Ironman brings something with it that other events simply don't have. It's an intangible desire to help is what keeps that, those volunteers going. They see people giving their all, and volunteers want to give their all in return. 55, 50.